Hey, what's up guys? It's James here. And today, um, we're diving into the world of GoPro, you know, those awesome little cameras that can go pretty much anywhere with you. So you've got all this epic footage, right? But, um, how do you turn it into a killer video that you can't wait to share with everyone? Well, that's where a good video editor comes into play. And I've been testing out a bunch, uh, to find out which one is the best for GoPro content. Trust me, whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, I've got something that'll work for you. Now, I totally get it. Editing can be like uh, super overwhelming with all the tools and settings. Mm. It's a lot, but don't worry, I'm going to break it down for you. Keep it simple and show you just how easy it can be to take your GoPro videos to the next level. And hey, if you're interested in any of the software we talk about today, you can find the links right down there in the description. Make sure you check them out for the best deals and more info. All right, let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Here's my take on the best video editor for your GoPro footage. Ready to make some movie magic? Let's hit it. So um, let's talk about Adobe Premiere Pro, especially if you're into making GoPro videos. Right now, the thing about GoPro footage is that it's super dynamic. You're catching all that action. You need an editor that can you know, keep up. So what I found is that Premiere Pro is just um, powerful, like really powerful for this kind of stuff. It can handle that high res, high frame rate footage like a champ no stuttering or crashing that you might get with uh, less robust software. Now, one of the things I really dig about Premiere Pro is the um, workflow. It's kind of like a playground for video editors. You have all these tools and effects at your fingertips and syncing up your video with like a killer soundtrack is just, it's a breeze. And um, for GoPro videos where you've got all that movement and maybe a bit of wind noise, the audio cleanup features are just top notch. You can actually make your audio, which is just as important as the visual um, sound professional. But here's the thing. Yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with Premiere Pro. It's got like a steep learning curve. If you're just starting out, you might find it a bit daunting. There's so many features, so many buttons and settings that uh, it can be overwhelming. But don't let it put you off because once you get the hang of it, um, it's actually a game changer for your videos. And um, performance wise, you've got to have a decent setup. GoPro footage, especially the newer models with those, you know, higher resolutions and frame rates can be demanding. So if you're on an older computer, you might need to uh, consider an upgrade to really take advantage of what Premiere Pro offers. But if you've got the hardware to run it and the time to learn it, honestly, it's just an incredible tool for making those GoPro videos just pop. Okay, guys, so let's talk about Davency Resolve, especially when it comes to uh, editing GoPro videos. Um, you probably know that when you're working with GoPro footage, right, you've got these super high resolutions, like 4K, maybe some high frame rates, and DaVinci Resolve is um, pretty much a powerhouse that can handle all of that. Now, I've been messing around with it, cutting some GoPro clips, and I've got to say, I'm kind of impressed by the performance. So first up, the interface. It might seem a little daunting if you're coming from say simpler software, but once you get the hang of it, man, the workflow is smooth. The thing is resolve is kind of split into these different pages as you know, you've got one for editing, one for color correction, another for effects. And it's pretty darn cool because it keeps things organized. Now with GoPro's wide dynamic range, co uh, uh, color grading is where resolve just shines like crazy. You can really dive deep and tweak the colors to, you know, make that sunset pop or get the blues in your ocean footage. Just all right, let's talk about performance because that's key, right? Resolve is getting uh, super resource intensive. That's true. So if you're running it on a um, less powerful machine, you might run into some hiccups when editing those big 4K files. But if you've got a solid setup with a good graphics card, you're looking at pretty smooth playback, even with multiple layers of video and effects. I mean, it's kind of built to handle cinema grade stuff. So GoPro footage, yeah, eats it for breakfast. Lastly, one of my favorite things the built-in sound library. So you've got your epic GoPro footage and you want some cool sounds to match, right? Resolve has this massive collection of sound effects that you can just drag and drop into your project. Super handy. And um, it just makes the whole editing process so much faster because you're not hunting around the web for decent sound effects. So um, overall for editing GoPro videos, I'd say DaVinci Resolve is a solid choice, powerful, feature-packed, and with a bit of a learning curve, but totally worth the effort. Okay, so um, 
Let's talk about Filmora X and why I personally think it's one of the best choices out there. If you're editing GoPro videos, you know, as someone who's used a bunch of different editing software, I can say Filmora X has this super intuitive interface that's really uh, user friendly, especially if you're just starting out. You don't want to get all bogged down in complex menu S and like a million different options, right? Now, when it comes to GoPro footage, we all know it's kind of special because you're, you're capturing all this high action, high intensity stuff which is awesome, but it can also be a bit of a challenge to edit smoothly. In Filmora X, well, it's got these great features like motion tracking, which is super cool for following your subject through the chaos and the stabilization option. A total lifesaver for when the camera was, you know, shaking everywhere. Another thing I really like is the effect library. We're talking filters, overlays, transitions, um, lots of options to really make your video pop without having to be a, a pro editor or anything. Um, they've also got this like royalty-free music library, right? So picking a killer track for your GoPro adventure becomes this super simple task and that can totally transform your video. Trust me. Lastly, let's talk about performance because nobody wants to sit around all day waiting for stuff to render, right? Filmora X is generally pretty quick, like even with high-res GoPro files. Now, it may not be the fastest kid on the block compared to some high-end professional software, but for what you're paying, it's absolutely worth it. Plus, you get these frequent updates, so um, it just keeps getting better. Overall, for GoPro editing, it's a solid choice, and it'll have you putting together those epic videos in pretty much no time. Uh, okay, guys, let's dive into Luminar Neo, and I've been testing it out specifically with GoPro footage, right? So. Um, Let's talk about how Luminar Neo really performs when you're trying to get those sick edits for your GoPro videos. Now, the first thing that popped out at me was the interface. Um, it's super sleek, not too cluttered, which is a huge plus when you've got all those tiny clips to work through. Um, but the real magic, it's in the editing tools. They're honestly pretty robust. So the thing with GoPro footage is, you know, it can sometimes look a bit washed out or, or like you've got that fisheye effect going on. Now, what's really cool about Luminar Neo is the AI tools. They've got this thing called the AI Enhance, and um, it just takes a single slider to tweak the color details and like the overall tone of your video. Um, and it's pretty impressive, honestly, for a quick edit where you're not looking to spend hours, it's a game changer. And um, what about those times when you're out with your GoPro and you've got like a photo bomber in the background or just something you want to get rid of? Luminar Neo has this content aware remove tool, which, you know, is pretty nifty for cleaning up your shots. Now, this is primarily a photo editor thing, but it's neat to see such a feature available because you could um, grab a frame from your GoPro video and like fix it up before using it as a thumbnail or incorporating it back into your video. Lastly, you know, let's talk about the export options, right? You need your final edit to look crisp when you're uploading it or showing it off. With Luminar Neo, the export is pretty straightforward and you've got a bunch of different formats to choose from. I mean, the compression is decent. I didn't notice much loss in quality, which is always a concern with GoPro footage because you want those details to pop, especially if you're doing something extreme. So yeah, over, overall Luminar Neo, it's definitely worth considering for your GoPro video edit. Let's talk about Final Cut Pro X as a go-to editor for GoPro footage. Now, I, you probably know that GoPro cameras give you some stunning high quality footage, um, like a really top notch action shots. And um, yeah, you want an editor that's gonna keep up with that quality, right? So um, Final Cut Pro X, it's pretty slick for this stuff. First off, the interface is super user friendly. Even if you're new uh, to video editing, you'll know, find your way around without feeling too overwhelmed. I mean, sure, it may take a little bit of learning, but once you get the hang of it, it's a breeze. And um, for GoPro footage specifically, Final Cut Pro X handles the 4K like a dream. You're able to import your clips and it works with the high frame rate super well. So your final output is just as crisp as the original shots, which is, you know, pretty important. Now about the performance, um, Final Cut Pro X is optimized for Apple's hardware, right? So if you're editing on a Mac, it's incredibly smooth. The magnetic timeline feature is a game changer, honestly. It makes arranging and trimming clips so much easier and there's less chance of accidentally messing up your project. When you're working with those action-packed GoPro clips, this kind of efficiency is key because you don't want to lose the momentum of, you know, those intense moments. But um, here's the kicker. Final Cut Pro X has some seriously powerful 
color correction tool. And when you're dealing with the varied lighting conditions that come with GoPro footage, you know, maybe you're shooting at dawn or dusk or heck, even underwater. These tools help you get that consistent look across your entire video. Definitely a win in my book. Plus, with the ProRes and H.264 options, exporting your video is both fast and you get this high quality outcome without having your file size blow up. So yeah, Final Cut Pro X, it's definitely worth considering for your GoPro edits. All right, catch you in the next one. All right, folks, that pretty much wraps up my take on the best video editor for your GoPro footage. Mm, I hope you found this helpful. And hey, if you did, you know, make sure to check out the links I've put in the description below for all the products we talked about today. And if you're sitting there and you've got a question or maybe you want to share your own experience with these editors, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down there. I love reading through those and I try my best to get back to as many as I can. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and it's like right down there so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And, you know, we've got a whole lot more content, um, tutorials, reviews, all that good stuff that can really help you up your editing game. Okay, I think that's everything. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And, and um, until next time, just keep editing and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.